Hey guys, Bosco. We're going to talk about four things that you need to know about your motorcycle jack um, to keep you safe. Um, a lot of it seems to be common sense, but I've been seeing a lot of crap on YouTube uh, about this and a couple of videos could just use a little bit of additional insight, I think. So, first thing you need to know about your jack is one where are the safety stops? This little, this little bar right here, um, you'll see when it's up like this, keeps the bar up off of these little, these little latch points. When you lower it and you start to jack, let's see if we can get a good angle of that. See how that goes, goes past one point. Raising the bike, hypothetically raising the bike. And we move past the second, and then when you let let this this down, because eventually the pressure on the jack will will go down. This will come down and bump up against one of these latches, like so, and then the bike stays. So, in my particular case, one thing that you'll notice here is this little bungee cord and I have that on there because um, these little hatches are not as robust as I would like and I end up wrapping this around here a few times to keep this keep pressure for for the for this to to keep the latch in, in place um, so I came out one time when the bike was leaning up against I came out one time when the bike was leaning up against the wall um, and I hadn't put uh, put that little bungee cord on. Uh, it scared me a little bit, obviously, because, you know, we all love our bikes and we don't want them to uh, fall and <laughs> get all scratched up. So that's the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know about your jack, or I should say jacking your bike up, is uh, where to put the jack. Um, we can see that there's a lot of mass right there with the uh, motor, transmission. Many of you may be going, put it, where do I put it? Well, <clears throat> the first thing you really need to do is just do kind of a best guess. Um, now, I know for my bike, since I've done this for many, many years, the best point is really kind of to slide it in here right behind the, um, the uh, kickstand, and it will raise up pretty nicely. Um, Something else that I'm a big advocate of is standing your bike up, getting used to the balance of it, putting gear so it won't move. And then what I want you to do is grab a hold of it and just kind of lean it back and forth a little bit. And what you're basically doing is just kind of getting used to some of the balance of the bike. This is gonna save you some scare when you actually go to jack it up because as it stands right now, 700 pounds on its side isn't scary, but if you're jacking the bike up for the first time and it starts to, to lean over or stand straight up, that is scary. Um, Spo, I just want you to get used to that a little bit. That's a good trick. Um, and basically it's setting your expectations on, on how what the bike should be doing as it starts to stand up as you're jacking up or jacking it up so but what you want to look for while you're holding the bike up is to make sure that the frame rails are on each point so they kind of move around that's another reason so i get used to the um keeping the balance of your bike make sure the valve is in the on position grab a hold of the handlebar now, um, nobody wants a 700 pound bike falling on them. So once you get everything ready, you're holding the bike. And in this particular case, I got a foot pump right here. Um, you're gonna start jacking the bike up and you're gonna start to feel the bike stand up. Again, that's why you practice that drill on finding a little bit of the balance, a little bit scary. See, it's starting to want to roll away from me. Oh, see? See the front uh, suspension is starting to decompress. Okay. 
Okay, front's starting to rise, back's up, and away we go. And then we jack this up until we get to the specific height that we want to work on it or what have you. Um, now I will say, if you're gonna be moving your bike around and you're not in the same situation where I've got mine, I have to kind of tuck mine back in the corner first and then raise it up. You want to see if there are ways that you can strap the bike down before you start moving it around because if you're pushing on it all up here on the handlebars, it feels pretty steady, but um, in some cases you might get it in a situation where it gets top heavy and falls over. So trying to strap it down or create some way to um, put another, another secure uh, um, mechanism on it so the bike doesn't fall over, that's good. Um, I'm not gonna do that here because I'm just trying to shoot, give you some general information, but if you go to start moving your bike around, um, sometimes it doesn't wanna move because you got crap on the garage floor or what have you. So if you give it a little push with the bottom of your foot, that you can start to move the, the bike around pretty easy, easily that way. Um, so hopefully that gives you some insight. Um, be safe. Shiny side up. Rubber side down. Peace out.